Welcome back. So in our previous video, we talked about a general purpose tools that are used for 90% of do it yourself projects. Um, a couple questions that came up in the comments with this one is one is what type of work are we talking about here? And again, it's just, this is not professional stuff. I'm not a professional contractor, just a weekend warrior, do it yourself guy. Uh, so it's not for any specific jobs. It's just that like 90% of the small fix it things around the house, 90% of the tools I need seem to be now in this bag. So let's take it one step further now. So many times, um, I will also realize that I need it, uh, to do some drilling or driving. And so I've got this other bag that's really just for drilling and driving and I'll take you through that one today. So I got uh, a drill, DeWalt, 20 volt. Uh, I've got the DeWalt 20 volt impact driver also. So they're a nice set. Um, I also have a 20 volt charger that uh, I leave up in the garage. But if I'm going to be taking it somewhere, I'll throw the charger in there as well. And on the inside of the bag, I've got uh, impact bits uh, in a nice case here. Um, this happens to be DeWalt. Uh, really important that if you're going to use the impact driver, only use impact rated uh, bits because they can break if you're not using them properly. And uh, this is kind of a standard set. The only thing I got that's a little bit different is there's one that has kind of a swiveling head if you need it to get into tighter spaces. Okay. Also on the inside is just a, a drill bit set, pretty standard. It's got a couple masonry bits in it. Uh, if I'm gonna be doing concrete work, I have a special, um, a bin or bag that has just masonry stuff like concrete screws and so forth. So it's a pretty, pretty standard drill bit set. <clears throat> so that's in here. And then I got some accessories for the drill drivers uh, in the pockets on the outside. So this is just a stop collar for drill bits. So if you need to mark the depth, I honestly don't use it that much. Usually I just mark it with some painter's tape. Um, it's a lot faster and easier. Usually gets the job done. This is a screw extractor set. There's two different ones that I have. Um, then I've got some larger uh, drill bits. These kind of spade bits out here in this pocket. And then if we turn it around, I've got a hole punch here. And this is really nice to start a hole, um, especially in metal. But I don't drill that much through metal. But even in wood, sometimes when you try to mark it with your pencil, uh, your drill bit maybe wanders a little bit as soon as it starts. So this one, you just, it's spring loaded here. So you can just push down on it and it makes a little dimple in there to get it started. Handy tool. This is a right angle attachment for the, that goes into the impact driver. Uh, you could also chuck it up into the drill and it's really good for tight spaces. It just takes uh, bits. This is some, uh, I think it's beeswax, but some kind of wax. And this is really good for driving screws into um, studs. Sometimes you, you really feel it bogging down. So if you, if you have screws that are going into any kind of pretty hard material, uh, it helps to lubricate the threads. And all I do is I, I kind of drag the threads of the screw along here. It just picks up some of the wax on it. Uh, this is just one of these um, countersink um, uh, bits, and you can flip it around and drive it. Again, I would not use it on the impact driver um, because this isn't impact rated, and this thing will blow apart. I've had one of them blow apart before. So it's kind of kind of handy. I don't use it that much now because I really do prefer the drill driver. Uh, this is... Uh, a deburring tool, so it just kind of cleans the edge of a hole. It's really, really good for metal or plastics. Uh, for wood, you can kind of usually clean it up with sandpaper, but you could also run this across the, the edge of the hole. Uh, this is just a countersink uh, screw set. Um, 
<clears throat> here we got some, these are some self-centering bits. So if you have something like hinges, uh, you, you can make sure you hit the center of the hinge. Um, it just sort of spring loads. So it kind of finds the bigger hole and puts a small pilot hole in there for you. So those are nice. And that kind of wraps it up. So, you know, combine that with my standard 90% bag and my drill driver set, I'm good for most tasks.